All right, I just got my Presidium gem tester in today and I wanted to show you how it came to me. This is from Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's merchant fulfilled, which means that the person, the seller, actually shipped it to me directly, not through Amazon. Amazon didn't bring it to me. So they put it in this padded um, FedEx bubble mailer, but this is supposed to be a calibrated item and it's shifting around in the box. So that doesn't make me feel great. So let's open it and see. Hopefully it's okay. So at least they put it in a box, but it would have been nice if they put more, um, you know, packaging within the box so that it didn't slide around. Oh, I can't even get this out. It is in there so tight. Now to get the scissors out. So there is the box. Okay, so this makes me feel a little bit better that it's actually just the box that Presidium in that's moving around, not the actual unit. But still, you know, a little like air pocket wouldn't have been so bad. I'll definitely reuse that box though. So this is the Gem Tester 2 by the brand Presidium. Um, how do I open this? This way? Oh, here we go. Quality, precision, reliability. Ooh, it comes with its own little case. That's nice. There are also some uh, calibration guides, probably a user guide, quick guide, yeah, and warranty information. Ooh, it even has branding on the zipper pull. And here it is. I'm so excited to use this. So it comes with a charger. Also the um, testing pen or whatever they call this. And then here is the actual machine. It is a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. I haven't read any of the manuals yet, but I'm assuming that you can use either batteries or the charger. So that's nice. All right, I'm gonna read some directions and see if I can calibrate it. Okay, I finally got it calibrated. This was not helpful, but I took a picture of this and then looked up the QR code or it took me right to the QR code and there was an exact YouTube video showing me how to calibrate it. I followed that to a T and it works. So I have on my engagement ring here this is alexandrite so it is a lab created uh, gemstone and i know that these are diamonds for sure because well number one the website said it and also i've tested it with another diamond tester that i have it's like a long stick kind of thing so i'm interested to see what alexandrite is going to show up as on the gem tester so let's see Uh, looks like it's on the high end of spinel or topaz. I guess I could see that. All right, and then let's do the little diamonds. Oh, I don't think I have it on all the way. Whoop. I hit the metal. That's what that big sound was for. They're kind of slippery. There we go, whoops. Do it again, there we go, diamonds. So that is interesting, Alexandrite shows up as topaz on this. So I'm gonna be pulling some items from my jewelry that I currently have on sale or for sale in my stores and my Poshmark closet. And we're gonna go through and test any to see if maybe they're more than just plastic or glass. All right, so I have started up Presidium. 
I went through some of my jewelry that I've already had listed that there are some things that I think may be something more than just glass. Most likely, probably not. But I thought it would be fun to just go over things and see what they come up as. And maybe I can, you know, make my listings a little bit better. Maybe the items will sell quicker. So I have calibrated it, as I told you in the last video. So first I wanna find out is this little pendant. It is sterling silver and it is stamped somewhere. Oh yeah, it's stamped up here, 925, and it does pass the test. When I did a Google image search of this, a lot of it was actually coming up as aquamarine, but I think it's just quartz. So I thought we would try this one first. So it's right on the beginning line of the Tanzanite aqua and it doesn't quite go up to the quartz line. Let me try another section. There it kind of goes to the quartz, but then it drops. I did list this pendant as quartz because I don't think that it's actually aquamarine, uh, raw aquamarine is what they call it. So interesting. So this is a sterling silver cross chain pendant necklace. It does say 925 up here. And there are these little stones on the edges of the cross. And I'd like to see if maybe they're diamonds. I doubt it, but we're going to find out. No, they look to be just glass which is okay. Next, I have this sterling silver charm bracelet, but there are a few, um, like there's a little gemstone here um, and maybe a few others. So let's see if this is anything, this little green stone here. Uh, I don't think it's anything. What about this? And this like A, B, cube shaped little piece here. Yeah, that did move a little bit. And then I think, I don't think there were any other stones. Yep, that was it. So nothing truly valuable. This is a little necklace that says made in China. It is vintage though because uh, it came out of one of my aunt's jewelry boxes. I don't think that this stone is anything, but these three might be. So let's see. We're going to try the pink one first. Oh. Oh, I slipped off. All right, that is, that is going up to Topaz. Is there a pink topaz? Okay. Next is this like black one. It keeps slipping. This one also looks like it's, eh, sorry, it keeps slipping. Uh, maybe spinel or topaz. These might just all be jade too. Maybe different colors of jade. Ah, see this one, the green one. Um, I don't know. That one might just be glass, but this one goes up really far. All right, so those are definitely some type of gemstones. I'm not sure exactly which ones. I probably won't change my listing because this isn't really, you know, worth too, too much, but it is pretty. Next, I am pretty sure that this is rose quartz. It is sterling silver findings. Um, I was unfamiliar with what these beads were. So let's test this first. Uh, 
So it's in the quartz line, but it's also in the beginning of the jade line, which there is pink jade. Let me try these little chips. Yeah, I think they're just quartz. Let's see what these stones are. Just glass. Yeah, I didn't think that they were anything special. So this hasn't changed anything. I do think that this is still just rose quartz. This is a beautiful blingy ring. I don't even know if these are glass. It does appear to be glass. Just try these big ones on the side. Also glass. Awesome. I just think that this is so pretty. No precious metals or anything, but in really great condition. I have this vintage brooch, probably just plastic. Yep, doesn't even move it at all. Oop, <laughs> those are not diamonds, I promise. I think that they're just plastic, but I have seen people call these rubies kind of why I wanted to test it but definitely just plastic I have this uh, little pearl wrap memory wire bracelet but I thought maybe these little tiny stones were something oh this is gonna be hard oh boy yeah, appears to just be glass. I have this ring also came from my aunt's jewelry uh, box. I do believe that these are simulated opals, these ones here and here, but I don't know what these other ones are. And this is a sterling silver ring. It looks to be just glass. Let me see if the opal comes up with anything. It does not. Like I said, it's simulated opal. It's not real, um, but a beautiful ring for sure. Next, I have this wrap bracelet. Um, this is by the brand Emmer or Victoria Emerson. And I think that these are crystals of some sort, but it probably just will show up glass. Yeah, it does move just a tiny bit. And I love how some of them have like these blue colors in them. Very pretty. Next up, we have this J. Crew beaded cluster necklace. I'm 100% sure that these are glass, but I did want to pull them out just in case. There's something else. Yeah. Just glass. And it barely moves the line, but it does move it. I have this little fish necklace it has a tiny little stone in it it's not precious metals or anything but I thought maybe a diamond no just glass maybe CZ because it is going up further on the line but I think that this is such a cute little pendant necklace we have this ring. I labeled this as faux sapphire because when I was doing a Google image search, that's what kept coming up. So let's take a look. Barely moves the line. Let's see what these ones are over here. Uh, those move up glass, but this one's, the middle one doesn't really move too much. A little bit very pretty and very blingy and in great condition we have these which are um, simulated opal kind of um, but they do have these little rhinestones on them and I wanted to see if maybe they were glass Yeah, they do appear to be glass. Can't get it to move again. Oh, maybe not. I think because I touched the metal before it went up, but I'm not picking up 
any movement really. Uh, a tiny, tiny bit. Let me see if this does anything. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is just plastic, but I love the flash it has to it. All right, we have two more pieces to go. This is another simulated opal type bracelet, but it does have these large rhinestones in between. So I wanted to see if they were glass. Look at that, they are glass. Let's see if this comes up with anything. No, I didn't think so. Very pretty. All right, and lastly, we have this gunmetal gray heart necklace. I do think that these are quartz. They have a very, very light pink hue to them. Yep, I would say that they are quartz. Cool. All right. Well, we found out that we have some, oh, bummer. I just realized that there's like a little nick out of the metal right here. I wonder if I put that in my listing. I will have to change that. All right. Well, we learned today that we have a few quartz pieces, possibly some jadeite, but the majority of it is glass, which is what I thought, but I thought it would be fun to test this out and stay tuned for a ring unboxing that will be coming very, very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.